worried. Like, if I were you, I was gonna be scared. You guys must be welcoming me, not the other way around. But yeah, hi bestie bears, I've missed you guys so 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 much. And you know, I've been wanting to come back, I've been wanting to come back, but I was just waiting for the right time. I was just waiting for the time where I feel ready. I feel you know um yeah i'm feel i feel ready to to come back and yeah guys i've been gone for a while and when i tell you that i have a vlog i i think i had a vlog but and it was nice it's just that i just didn't feel aligned with that like although everything that i want to share with you guys i wanted to share in that vlog i was like let me just wait let me just wait for the holy spirit to you know guide me through everything because that vlog i wanted to post it after posting this video but then i decided that you know what i want to start on a clean slate and yeah here we are so hi bestie bears if you are new here my name is Ramona Bezusani I really hope that you stay I really hope that you hit the subscribe button down below and you join our bestie bear fabulous family I am so excited to be back I am so excited to embark on this journey and I feel so light I feel so peaceful and yeah so i am going to be doing my makeup because i think i want to take pictures outside it's currently around 11 to 12 so yeah uh, i want to finish doing my makeup and then go and take pictures i think i have clothes that i never like wear so i want to wear those clothes especially heels guys like i don't have anywhere to go wearing heels so yeah i need to wear my heels and then wear my cl clothes that i hardly wear that i don't have an occasion for that i really love and take pictures so yeah that's what i'm gonna do today so yeah um i'm gonna be talking through guys i am so excited to share this part of my life with you um so i'm gonna be talking through what do my makeup and guys i can't see one thing about me i can't see and i am shooting in the bathroom today <laughs> because of makeup and um guys if you see the setting here yeah, it's 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 giving it's giving something but yeah i'm just putting you guys on a window <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm just putting you guys on your window because um yeah it's giving and i'm putting my notebook here because i noted everything down so before i start with my makeup name i just want to share how everything started how this journey started so i've been wanting to quit to stop youtube you know because i felt like at this point of my life i have this point of my life i have nothing interesting going on so i don't want to vlog because there's nothing interesting you know every day every day I'm, I'm i'm waking up and doing the same thing so like it was just really discouraging me honestly it was really really discouraging me so then i you know so then I, I i didn't give it too much attention i didn't give it too much attention but i just told myself to stop vlogging 
and to stop youtube in general and then um so yeah but god had other plans you know so i decided you know as i was praying but before i get there let me tell you guys what happened let me tell you guys what happened so that i don't start from finish you know to start but yeah um few months ago so i i just saw a light so i think it's the car so a few months ago i took a break you know to work on myself to work on my spiritual um journey you know to work on my faith and then um and then i decided to to know god for myself because i mean i knew god but i didn't know him for myself i knew the god that people would talk about i knew the god that my pastor would be telling us about i knew the god that everyone else would talk about except i didn't know him for me you know i didn't take i never took so guys, I'm really sorry about the. Let me just open the door. Maybe it will be better. I'm sorry about the echo. Okay, I'm filming in the bathroom. So I just didn't know that God. I didn't know Him for myself. I I and I don't blame anyone, guys. I don't blame anyone. I blame myself because I never had like that time. I mean, even with doing. Bible study Even with doing Bible study, I'll just read the Bible. I'll just read the Bible and then Go to sleep without even understanding what I'm reading sometimes, you know So yeah, that's what happened and then I just now I've just decided to have like a personal relationship with God I mean, I need to know who I'm calling God. I need to know who God is. I need to know God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I needed to know that. And guys, you see now, I'm, I took off my space and now I can't see and I have to read my notes. So that I don't, you know, blabber too much. So yeah, that's what, that's what's up. You know what the other funny thing is? The funny thing is that, you know, God knew my heart all along. He knew and he planned that um, this is going to happen. I, I mean, God planned everything the way it's happening now. And I'm just realizing now that it was part of his plan. So, yeah. Uh, so a few months back, so a few months back, guys, yo, it all started, it all started, um, when? I don't remember, the month. I think it was June. Yeah, it was June. after coming, after coming back from Durban. I even had the Durban vlog, guys. I don't want to lie to you. I had, like, the Durban vlog, but then... After the Deben vlog, I had another vlog. So I had two vlogs, but I never, I decided not to post them. Like it just didn't feel right for me to post them then because I don't know. I just felt like I was not really aligned with the person that I was. <laughs> so yeah, but then after coming back from uh, Deben, eh, that's when the whole thing started changing. Like everything took a whole 360 so i i started like you know doing bible study i i pray to god that you know what god i need to know you i need to know who you are in my life i mean i also need to know who i am in your in your eyes you know so I, we need to work on this relationship we really need to work on our relationship because i can't keep calling you and not know you i mean it just didn't feel 
right okay and then um and everything else like i feel like i also had excuses and god knew that i'm gonna have those excuses so i i had a problem with fasting like all my life i had a problem with fasting because i have a uh, low sugar yeah my sugar level just drop you know my sugar level will drop baby if i don't eat i'm gonna faint so especially if the um, the activities that i'm doing that require energy i'm gonna faint so i i i, I told god that you know what to know you i need to fast and you know my problem you know my issues so i mean he knew that already before i even asked and then we uh, a week before or a few weeks before he he took my appetite i was not eating i was not eating at all at all at all okay like i would eat to show me i would eat like once in a day i'll go the whole day with one slice of bread i'll go the whole day sometimes not eating at all like at all at all so and then he was like you see now you can start fasting and then we're gonna work on that um the relationship that you wanted so bad i was like okay cool and then that's when the whole thing started and guys when i tell you that everything everything that that seemed like an excuse to me now you know to go back to the old me everything like god took care of it guys when i tell you that i didn't even intend on stopping to dr stopping you know drinking alcohol and if you know me guys you know me that i have been going out and that was Guys, the old me, even before I decided to take the whole step of building a relationship with God, the old me, the one that I grew up, you know, from years back, I, I never was interested in going out. I never was interested in going to clubs and stuff like that. But I would drink here and now, now and then, okay? I would drink. So, God just took away my desires to drink, my interest in alcohol. Like, you know, I just stopped desiring alcohol. I stopped, like, having that urge to smoke hardly and things like that. Like he took, he actually took care of it without even me going to ask him to take care of it. And then just like that, uh, my journey started every day. I mean, even until this day, I still do. And you know what the interesting thing is? Like every day I would, I would encounter, like I would learn something about God. During that week of fasting, during that week, God was revealing to me why the relationship we had before was not working out. Because it's not like we never had a relationship before. We did, but he was just revealing to me why it was not working out. And, you know, it was conviction after conviction, baby. He was like not playing with me. He was like, we are not here to play. Like we are not here to play. So he convicted me in a lot of things that I, I, I was doing or the things that I would normally do when things get tough, I would run. I would run. <laughs> and like he used to convict me before. And you know what? I would run, I would matter. I would make it my layer, guys. Yo, I would run. And then when things start getting tough, I'll come back and then he convicted me and run. Things got bad. Conviction, run. So it was like, we are going to work on that. 
they are going to work on that so during that week of fasting we actually went on that actually like it was amazing and it's not like he convicted me about that and i was like oh no it's final change no i didn't uh because the day of the conviction i was like you know what god the things that i'm here for you are not telling me you're not giving me you are only telling me about this i'm not here for this i'm here for this and then it was like you know what we need to work on, on that attitude like i want the world i'm fasting i was still fasting i didn't, didn't i didn't pray that day i didn't pray i read the bible no i didn't read the bible i prayed when i was breaking my fast i prayed and then that was it i only prayed that time and then you know the following day like the conviction got really bad and then he was like you see that's the that's what we are talking about that's what i was talking about when i tell you that this needs to stop okay you can have like whoa you can have you can improve like 10 steps ahead and then i mean three steps ahead and then take take 10 steps backwards again so i mean we are going to improve on we're gonna work on that and then that's when i realized where my problem was that's when i realized where my problem was with not knowing god because i i, I was running away from him i mean i feel like a part of me was still a part of me was still, you know, desiring things of the flesh. I was still, yeah. I just don't know if, yeah, that's what I think. I think I was not ready to let go of other of those things. Why am I doing this? So yeah, that's why. And then after that, that is when I started to realize that, you know what? This relationship that I'm trying to build with God, He wants it too. He wants it too. And lately I have realized that um, there was a void, you know? There was a void inside of me that I would be feeling with other things, with relationships and all those things. But that void actually was to know God because ever since then, guys, now I had dealt with anxiety. I have dealt with panic attacks. Like I have had an out of body experience where I felt like my, my soul my soul is not attached to my body anymore like i lost touch of reality i guess and you know i mean the old me now would be considering the fact that i am not waking and you know god god like when i said well, god planned this he actually did he planned this. He he knows me. <laughs> he knows me. So yeah, we. I mean, the other thing, ne? the other thing, yo. I don't know what I'm doing. But the other thing that happened while I was fasting, I learned that I don't know the Bible. I don't know the and that was because I was lazy to read the Bible. I never had time to do so. I never had time to read the Bible, child. Like I would just go my my day would just go by and I would pray once in a while. Like if not even that thing I would once in a week or what. I would pray when I feel like, ah, you know what, I just remembered to pray. And that's it. 
so i realized that you know what i am slacking very much like it's not even cute anymore it's not even cute anymore i'm telling you so that's when i started to learn the bible and the more i took time to do so the more god just revealed to me things that were already in front of me and you know i was ignoring and then yeah our relationship started growing and i don't want to lie i'm really loving it i am really loving how our relationship is going so far and you know the other thing is everything that i need that i need to know god aligns me with that like he will give me all the resources that i need not necessarily physical resources but even spiritual resources you know because i like just um i think it was what, last the other week two weeks back two weeks back um i was praying that i need to learn to walk in spirit and not please the flesh and you know and god was like how are you going to work to walk in the spirit when you don't know who is walking with you in the spirit you don't know how to walk in the spirit so he gave me the resources he taught me the holy spirit who he is in my life he is still teaching me that and now i'm working on my relationship with the holy spirit because now i know who it is so that's some of the things that have uh that i have learned you know god just keep on aligning me with that purpose and then we're gonna talk about that uh later on because i don't want to be blabbering guys too much guys i don't want to be blabbering too much is this even fine i didn't let this sit and i know So the other thing, the other problem that I had, guys, was conforming to the world standards. Like, whatever that the next person says about me, whatever the other person think about me, like, all those things that, ah, uh, follow your heart. What are, like, guys, I, I, I didn't know what the Bible said about following your because the Bible says, don't follow your heart because it's a deceitful organ. The heart is deceitful, guys. I don't want to lie. But those things I didn't know and I would do whatever the people are doing. I would conform to the world's standards. And um, yeah, I was lazy again. And I was just relying on my own understanding. I never asked god for any wisdom and understanding to do anything you know i was just ruling myself i was just ruling myself and then um after after that like i said after that i started hearing god why i started hearing him more like and very clearly like i was able to hear him clearly now you know his voice was very clear to me and yeah Ooh. and then i also he also like because i've been planning things i've been planning to do things and even before i would normally plan things and just like even if they go the way i want to you know i would never acknowledge that it was god it was God's will. I never acknowledged that. And then he told me on plans will be established. So, yo, what is that? 16 verse 3 says that uh, commit all your works to God. Me that, you know. And I knew this verse. Funny enough, I knew this verse. But did I ever apply it in my life? No. Only when it suited me. Only when it suited me. And then yeah, that was what that's what that's what that's what was happening. Whew. 
this please teach me to do makeup okay it's 12 now uh please teach me to do makeup because i am suffering like i said i used to struggle a lot with anxiety i i was like a playground of anxiety i don't know how many breakdowns i have like i would have on a normal day life like on my on a normal day i was just triggered a lot i was triggered a lot and you know what ever since this journey this relationship i'm having with god i don't know where the anxiety went what's this what's happening here when i tell you that i don't know what happened i don't know because i've never been like even things that used to trigger me a lot like because I, I used to always be on edge like what you're gonna say and i would already have an answer for you i would already have an answer you know so right now i no longer even feel like trigger. even things that trigger me now i'm like i remain calm i remain so peaceful because you know he has taken care of that already he has already taken care of it because i have like surrendered i have surrendered to be honest and you know everything that i ask for god already knows that i god already knows that i'm about to ask and he will actually provide for me he will provide everything that i need at the current moment i do not like anything i do not like anything i mean there are challenges yes but his joke, his yoke is easy to bear, it's easy to carry. And when I tell you that being unemployed is not cute, guys, it's not cute. It is not cute at all. But when I tell you that, I am very content now. I'm very so what am I doing? Okay, I'll fix it. I am very content and I know that when the time comes, when the right time comes the Lord will actually do it. I am not even worried about the future anymore. I'm not triggered about... I'm not worried about the future and what's going to happen tomorrow and all those things. Because I feel like I lived in the future too much that I lost touch of the present, that I lost touch of reality. So that, I think that's one thing, that's one thing that I know that I've ident identified that was triggering my anxiety. Because I would always like predict, want to predict what other people are saying, what other people are thinking, you know. You're always mad and not knowing where you're actually mad at yourself. You're actually mad at yourself, baby. Now let's be like this. So yeah, guys, um, 
God has actually restored my faith, guys. Like, my faith. And my faith is actually where it's actually growing every day because I take time, guys. I take time to. I took time to build the relationship that I want. I actually took time to invest in that relationship. And if I can stay in a relationship for so many years with a person, a person that was born by men, by a woman, not me, a person that was like born. You, uh, I mean, I can, I can invest in the relationship with God. I can take time and invest in that relationship with God, so that I'm aligned with the person that He's destined me to be. So, and then, um, yeah, I am, I'm still actually in a journey. Every day is a learning curve at this point. Every day I am learning something new. I am learning something about God and yeah, and something about myself as well, about my character, you know. So yeah, and then um, yeah, let me just finish doing my makeup and then I'll come back and talk to you. Oh, guys, go, go, be nice, go, be. Let's just trust the process at this moment. Go, be my own, and I'm. I see it. Oh, I am so tired, <laughs> but I'm really glad that I finally shot this because the other week, because yeah, I don't remember, because this video I wanted to shoot it and upload it on the first of August. But I was like, you know what? I don't want to rush. What if this is not what God wants me to do, you know? And I'm just reading into things and then everything is just in my mind. And the more I try to run away from it, the more it just, you know, keep catching up with me. So I finally decided that, you know what? God, if this is it, let it be so um yeah i just made this video so that um you know to, to to include you guys on my journey and if some of you are also in the same path as me like you know we can have like build a community and share the word of god together and you know so if you're also in the same journey because i know that i'm not alone guys i know for sure i am not alone and even if you haven't started yet and you want to start like let's see on the comment section and then we will see how we can maneuver this together you know how we can grow our community and all that so um i want to bake i don't know is it bake or set i want to set so um i Although I am still on a purpose, I'm on a journey to discover my purpose on earth, guys. Like, and you know, I, I, I am still on a journey, guys. I mean, you can never say you know, you know it all, just because um, a part of your journey is answered some of the questions that you had are answered and then now you feel like oh no you're comp no i i mean i am very far from being done i mean i'm i'm very far from being i'll never be done actually i'll never be done so i decided that i am going to start a faith series on my channel so every month i will upload faith-based content because i also want to keep track of my journey i also want to share my journey with you guys just the same way as i was sharing everything else in my life before i also want to share this part 
I actually want to share this part with you, you know, because I just like the other reason why I, I didn't want to be vlogging, I, I didn't want to portray something that I'm not because you guys would just would, would be shocked like if i just came now i'm doing bible study i mean like you would be asking yourself which one is this one you know but now that you know you are aware i'll be free i'll be free to share my bible study journey with you i'll be able to share my jesus and me time journey with you guys um i will also be able to share my what do you call this i'll have to fix here i don't know what happened i will have to also i will so that if because even with the service that i want to share with you guys i mean i can't just come here and say oh hi guys i want to introduce um a new service in my channel blah 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 blah, blah. i mean i also wouldn't be happy or I also wouldn't like that if it was someone else's channel. So yeah. So oh yeah, and then um, I am <laughs> I'm really excited because now I've been also you know journaling about this as well, so that I do not lose. Because like whenever the Holy Spirit tells me something, now I write it down and then if I have to share it, if it's aligning with what I'm going through, I have decided that I will come and share it in this series that we are, that I'm starting with you guys. And I really hope that you guys join and we walk together because guys it's yeah it's nice it's nice being in the presence of god it's very nice but now i am i mean it will feel even nicer to have a community with me you know so the series the series is called finding my peoples my peoples in christ so, because it's just been you know very 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 deep in my soul <laughs> but i'm really glad that i'm starting this series called uh, finding my purpose and i really hope that it grows and i really hope that it touches someone even if guys it's one person you know it means a lot that god is using you to is using you whenever and wherever so yeah that's that's the other reason is to just let god use me because and that's the other reason why like i, I know that i'm touching here and here and there it's just that everything is coming back now that you know when i decided that because i prayed about leaving this youtube thing like completely and then god was like you know what you can't always start something and leave it start something and leave it like no that's 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 not the person i want you to be like you can't you can't even as a person you can't be leaving things hanging all the time you know so he was like, no, you are. You remember the like. He reminded me the reason why I wanted to open to start a YouTube channel, and one of the reasons was that I want to connect with other people because I'm one person that is always alone. Like I'm always alone, and to be honest, it's not it's not a big deal to me at this point. But I'm always alone, and I really enjoy being alone. But um, I also like con connecting with other people, you know. So I have decided, I mean, God reminded me of that purpose. It's like, that's what we are going to use. It was not me. It was, I feel like also God pushed me to start this YouTube channel because, I mean, I 
knew that I didn't have the influence. I knew that I didn't have the influence. I still don't have the influence now. I mean, all my social media platforms are under 500k followers. So you can just imagine my YouTube has not been growing and I felt like that was the other reason why I wanted to stop it. My channel is not growing and I knew why my channel was not growing. It's because I never knew, like, people would be saying, find your niche, find your niche. And personally, I feel like I didn't have anything that stood out for me. Like, when people think of me, they, there was nothing unique about my channel. And, like, now God is saying, this is the time to make my channel unique okay and i know there are a lot of christian channels uh, faith-based channels out there and i am also learning from them because i've never created faith-based content before so i am i am taking this um journey and i am also learning guys i am also learning from other from other YouTubers who are creating faith-based content. I'm also like just allowing God to, to you know, direct me how and, you know, how to use this channel to create that content, to share this word with you guys. And I am, I know that like I've been I also watched um Miss X O vlog yesterday and I was laughing because not really laughing but um it is not only Miss X O like it's a lot of people like a lot of creators talking about you know um strengthening their faith, going back to God and 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 and, and then it's, it's the people who are saying because I feel like that's one thing that was delaying me to creating this video It's because you know people already Ah oh, now everyone is going to hey, go, go, go. Guys like if I were you I'd be scared If I were you I would be scared but People are, are now you know turning their, li their lives back to God and when now you still have the mentality that people aren't you worried? Aren't you worried? Like if I were you I was gonna be scared. I was one like why am I not go turning my life around as well? Why am I still uh yeah I like I would be scared to be honest because I feel like there's a lot that is happening in the in the spirit realm that we cannot see with our own eyes and God is God is busy you know taking his key children back he's busy you know training his soldiers for the war that is coming because to be honest to be honest there's a lot that we cannot see with our own eyes and now I'm grateful that you know God still chose me, even as a rebellious child, even as someone who is stubborn. God, you know, I mean, you can still do the same. You can still do, like, you can still trust in Him. You can still trust in Him. He knows your heart. He knows you. Just come as you are. Just come as you are. That's all He's asking. Come. Everything else you do, because... The other thing was, we often say that, um, yo, I have a problem, like, I just uh, masturbated yesterday. No, I just committed this sin yesterday. No, I will actually start by leaving this. Like, guys, do you think that the enemy is waiting for you to leave that thing? Do you think that he's waiting for you to leave him and go to God? 
do you think that when you are busy saying no i'm i'm going to to first change and then go to god go like that go like that even if you just fornicated yesterday even if you just masturbated even if you just you know committed a, a, a sin whatever sin that you did go like that just go as you are go and confess those things to him go and tell him that you know you you are tired go and surrender he will take care of the rest he will actually take care of the rest oh guys i am done hey, hey. don't laugh at me don't laugh okay this look what i was trying to do but as a collab, okay, as a collab, focus on the bigger future. Focus on the bigger future, okay? <laughs> oh. There's no one who said this. I'm gonna be wearing my specs. I just um, I put on blush <laughs> and a little bit of highlighter guys it's not bad okay it's not bad why is this not drying to the end of this vlog guys if I continue if I don't change my mind, about taking pictures, ne? I will share them here somewhere. That's if a bit if because right now I'm thinking of ironing and all, all everything. I'm thinking of ironing. I told you guys, trust the process. So we have come, I think I'm saying this for the third time now, but we have come to the end of this video. I am really grateful that you guys watched until this far. I mean, if you have, please just drop any scripture that, you know, any scripture that you are currently reading or a scripture that touched you or a scripture that um, is currently resonating with you, a scripture that you have always lived with, that please put it uh, down on the comment section and then I promise that I'll go through all of them. I'll, I'll, you know, we'll, I'll go through them. I'll read all of them. And yeah, we have come to the end of today's video. I am grateful, guys, for the support. I'm so grateful that you still went and watched my previous videos, even when I was not uploading. Um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Well, I know that this is... Sorry, it's me finding my papers, okay? And I think you can also. I think this is not well blended. Okay, guys, I will move. So I think you can also take it as a time or as. A, you can also take it um, to also try to resonate with you, or you can just. Yeah, and or you can just be part of the journey but i would really be grateful if you support this series i'll still be dropping vlogs i will still be um yeah i'll still be dropping vlogs every now and then but i don't know about the consistency of that but i know that every month I will drop a 
finding my purpose series because i feel like it's a journey that a lot of people are walking and i'm really glad that i can share mine with you guys so i will see you in the next video hopefully it will be a vlog hopefully it will be a vlog if not a vlog then finding my purposes but i really like it to be a vlog okay um thank you so much bestie bears i really appreciate your support i really appreciate your love i really appreciate you sticking with your goal okay um yeah see you bye uh, I just wanted to give you a closer look of my makeup guys. It's not actually that bad. I mean, I feel like even my specs are hiding it a little bit. I mean, especially on the eye situation.